Now for the track guide. Guys, if you want to improve at a quicker pace, don't forget to check my sim racing course in the video description. Now going into the track guide itself, for turn 1 my reference for braking is the 50 meter board. I plan to brake before the 50 and while taking this corner you have to acknowledge that this is a long corner. So as you can see from here we have this white wall which ends around this part of the track so it's a lot more in front of what we can see in this moment right here because at this moment in time we just see this part of the corner and we, if we look too much into that part it will mess up our line because where we want to apex is actually at the end of the white wall around here but if we're fixating if we're fixating on looking just in front of us then that apex will be a bit earlier so what happens here usually is that people will just push the throttle at this point in time which is very late so what i want you to notice is that at this point in time i'm still braking i'm still on the brakes so still trail braking still trailing and then i'm going on throttle you see almost in the middle of this curve like you want to overemphasize that the apex is so late it's close to this end of the wall not the beginning so at this point in time I'm pushing the throttle and notice that I'm going very close on the inside near the ending of the wall and I'm cutting a bit this curb so I'm putting my right tire in between the curb and the wall. And now this is gonna give you like a really really good exit where you will push all the way and also when you go on throttle go 0-100 on the throttle as quickly as you can. Don't go up and down with your, with your uh, right foot, it will lose you a lot of time. Now for this corner you just have to use this curb, you just want to put your left tire all the way to the grass, notice these marks around here on the grass, that's because in the previous lap I was clipping the grass to use as much as I can here. You can do that without getting the off track. And in terms of the braking, at the end of the curve, you're gonna apply the brake. Don't brake too hard, 20%, it's enough. You just want to make the front tires point. Just want to have a bit of uh, load on your front end. Then you have to trail brake a bit longer. And when you go on throttle here while hitting this curve, don't go 0-100 really quickly like this, boom. If you do this, uh, the car will slide a bit. So what I'm doing, I'm going progressively up until here and from here I smash it look you see in the throttle trace this is where you keep the the balance in the right way and you want on the exit to be in the center of the track because for this corner what I'm doing like my reference for braking is the moment where I have my steering wheel straight zero degrees straight level and notice here when my steering wheel is straight I'm pressing the brakes because you want to brake in a straight line with your steering wheel straight, this is going to give you the best grip you can possibly get under braking. So braking, 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 and whenever I'm at this point in time, I'm pushing the throttle. I was a bit too late here, a bit too, too, um, too early, I would say, not late, sorry. So what you want to do is you want to get a bit closer to this uh, wall in front of you, to the white line. So at this point in time, the car should have been just a bit more forward and then smash the throttle. There's a bit more time to be gained here for sure. Um, but in general, you want to go 0-100 a bit quickly and use all the track right here. So not a perfect corner. I think there's like one tenth in it for sure. Now going into the next part, uh, next part here was also had a, a mistake which I'm going to point it out. So first, you have to use this um, exit road on the left side, you want to open up the track and you have to do it in advance. Notice again, on the grass there is a bit of a um, tire mark, you want to open it in advance, you want to arrive and brake at the beginning of the exit road, you want to have your car with your left tires on the concrete on the left to open up as much as possible. And then in fourth gear you're gonna downshift to third. The mistake was that downshift to third a bit too late. And because of that, I'm losing the rear balance. So if you slide a bit, even a tiny bit, notice here I'm gonna lose one tenth. One tenth of a second for just a tiny slide. So avoid that, try to downshift quicker. And now for the next corner, you really want to open up by cutting this curve in the initial approach. Because you want to be here when you're gonna break at the end of the curve, you want to be here. You want to break, downshift to third, get as close as you can to this curve. Really important to get close. And again, really important to be earlier than the apex on throttle. So notice at this point in time, right, right here, I'm already back on throttle. So 
super early on throttles, smash the throttle 0-100 really quickly, use this part of the track to just open up as much as you can, don't touch the grass, you will instantly lose grip because you are still turning the car, you're not in a straight line. So the limit here is the ending of the curb. And in terms of the braking, the 50 meter board is gonna be your friend here. It's, uh, so the braking marker, it's visible at some point in time, like right here, you can see the 50. So at the 50, you will um, slightly pass the 50 or at the 50, you're gonna apply the brakes. You will brake initially in a straight line. Notice my steering wheel input. So the, the peak pressure of the brakes has to be in a straight line and then when you start to bleed the brakes more then you will turn and turn and in this part of the curb there's a compression zone you have a lot of grip so i'm going on throttle really early like right now i'm already smashing the throttle because i know that that's a, a lot of grip available here also you can touch the curb like going completely over it that's gonna be fine same for the next corner you will arrive here on the left you will bring the car all the way to the right and the moment that I'm close to this exit concrete on the right side, that's when I'm applying the brakes and this is a difficult braking zone because you're braking and turning at the same time. This is not ideal but in this corner this is how you really maximize the lap time because you open up this corner a lot and even though you're, you're traveling a longer distance with the steering wheel, um, in the end it's worth it because it, you, you just gain a lot of the momentum by being super early on throttle in this corner. But if you have a, someone behind you in the race, uh, I wouldn't do this. Like I, will, I wouldn't go all the way to the white line here if someone is like 0.3 behind because he can, he can very easily just send the car deep and whenever, even though you will be earlier on throttle, because you're coming from a longer radius, he will have the car in front of you so it will be weird because you will have such a good run but you can't push the throttle because you will you will hit him so what's going to happen is that you you have you you are obliged to just drop the throttle and when that happens you're going to lose the position and also he will have a better run till the next chicane so don't do this if you have a, clo a car closely behind, but if you're leading or if you're in qualifying, this is the faster line through the corner. Now, you have to be super early on throttle here. Like the reason why you're, you're traveling first a longer distance to go to the right side and then traveling a longer distance with the steering wheel too, like covering more radius, um, it's because you have to be early on throttle. That's what you, you gain by doing this. And if you don't take advantage of it, then um, it, it was all for nothing. So what happens now is that at this point in time, I'm pushing the throttle. Looks, at this point in time, my car is, is, is pointing. It's pointing to the, uh, you know, to the gravel trap. It's so early, but it works because you have a lot of space to play with because we went all the way to the white line. So look, even though I'm going now on throttle, I'm still able to make it work. Plus, I'm kissing this curve like this, and then I will use all this curve to the exit. So this was quite a nice corner. Uh, I suggest you use this approach. It's very good whenever you're um, not having someone behind you. And now for this corner, braking point will be beginning of the curve. Like right now I'm applying the brakes. Brake in a straight line to maximize the efficiency under braking. You don't, you really don't want to have like few degrees of turning right because then you will break um you know it won't be that efficient going around 80 percent that's going to be the threshold and then downshifting to second gear cut as much as you can from this curve the car will bounce in a weird way around here so it feels a bit sketchy but you have to push the throttle immediately like in, even when the car is me there you have to push the throttle so that you know you will in a way give some rear tires some some grip but also uh, you have some some time to spare in between uh, you know this corner like the, this chicane you just have to to push a bit of throttle in between and then going back on the brakes in first gear cutting very close to the sand but don't touch the sand you will get the off track and then staying on on full throttle using all the space not an easy chicane but the rhythm is like brake downshift to second cut as much as you can even before landing stay on throttle brake again downshift to first and then go zero 100 on the throttle that's the rhythm here and for the last corner super important corner 
My breaking point is this dip around here. You can you can feel the suspension compressing a bit because you go from higher elevation to a lower elevation. It, it's subtle, but it still can be felt. And when I'm arriving around here, I'm applying the braking. Um, I don't want to brake very hard. I just want to brake to make the car rotate, not to shave off too much speed. And trail braking, you want to trail brake a lot longer than you think. No, look here, 4% on the brakes, 4% holding, 2% holding. So this shape here under braking tells the whole story. You want to obviously shave a bit of speed and have some weight on the front tires, but you don't want to spike it like, like a spike without uh, just holding. You have to, you need two stages of braking. You need a first stage to give some, some front end grip, but if you drop it too early, then you will just lose that grip instantly earlier than you, you need. So I think this was a very good corner for me. And the reason why it was so good uh, was about this little trail break in the lower 10 percentages. Because if you will trail break, let's say if we keep, if you keep the same um, uh, distance on the break, you stay, you stay on, break, on the break the same time as I'm doing here. But if you will hold a higher percentage on the brakes, you will just over slow the car so there's a small line between you know just keeping just enough pressure on the fronts that will rotate the car and going over that and you will just over slow so try to experiment with lower trail braking pushing the throttle very aggressively use a bit this sand here not this much like this tire mark but if you will look at my hot lap you will you will hear a bit of the tire almost kissing the sand you can do that without getting the off track and without losing time and in short that's the lap right now is just a race to the finish line thanks for watching thanks for sticking around again if you want to improve at a quicker pace check out the course and i'll see you in the next one bye bye